Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to give you an in depth review of oxygen os 12 stable build for the oneplus 8 series devices so without wasting any more time let's get started if we go into the about section you can see that the build number is c.11 which is oxygen os 12 stable build this build was released almost 2 weeks ago and since then i have been using it on my oneplus 8t and my overall experience has been really positive except for some small issues first of all let me show you some benchmark results On Geekbench the device scored 910 in single core and 3043 in multi core. If we have a look at the NT2 benchmark the device scored 637671. The benchmark score is respectable and on par with Oxygen OS 11. And honestly I didn't face any issues regarding performance on Oxygen OS 12. The device was able to perform all the daily tasks without any hiccups. So the performance has been really really amazing on this one. Another amazing thing about this build is the battery life. The battery has been just superb. On a regular day without gaming, I used to get around 6 to 7 hours of screen on time. And with gaming, I got somewhere around 5 plus hours, which is very good given that Oxygen OS 12 has not been fully optimized yet. The overnight drain has also been very less. You also have this high performance mode which increases the performance and I don't know if it properly works or not as I didn't face much improvement in games and even the benchmark results with or without high performance mode were quite the same. If we talk about the charging speed, the charging speed is as normal as they were on Oxygen OS 11. My device charged from 0 to 100 in around 30 to 40 minutes which is quite acceptable. So no issues with the charging speeds. One of the major issues I faced in this build was notifications. You get very few notifications apps like telegram gmail only receive notifications when you open them for telegram i even changed all the notification settings battery optimization settings and even allowed background activity and i also logged it in the recent panel till i don't get notification from the telegram app unless i open it this wasn't this big of an issue on the beta builds as on the beta build i used to get notifications after changing the notification settings but it doesn't work on the stable build for some reason i just hope it gets fixed very soon as this is very annoying to miss the notifications the fingerprint unlock and face unlock work properly without any issues and they are as fast as they were on oxygen os 11 and same goes for the camera application No improvement has been done to the camera app and the camera performance is exactly the same it was on Oxygen OS 11. The quality of the images and the videos is also the same. Now let's talk about the gaming performance. The gaming performance has been mostly really great, no major issues, but one thing to notice is that you can't enjoy the full 90 FPS in BGMI as the screen refresh rate has been capped to 60 FPS. I have tried various method to force 120 hertz but all of them are a temporary fix. As you can see I have 90 FPS here but it will go back to 60 after some time. Apart from that I have not faced any lags or jitters while gaming even though I played for more like 2 3 hours in a go. But one point to notice is that the device gets a little warm while gaming for longer periods. But it is not that big of a issue. So that was an complete in-depth review of Oxygen OS 12 after using it for 2 weeks. The only major problem I faced is regarding to notifications. If you are facing any issues apart from that, I will suggest you factory reset your device first. That's all for this video. Comment down if you want a video on how to install Oxygen OS Dialer with call recording on Oxygen OS 12. Thank you for watching.